going to simplify the radical. And these are rather high index. So these are not simple square roots in any in any case. So the first one, I'm going to use my technique that is the it's the longest, but it's the most illustrative. And then I'll show you how to make it a little bit simpler in the other ones. So 125 breaks down into 5 times 25, and 25 breaks down into 5 times 5. x to the fifth is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. And y to the 17th is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 y's. You'll see why you don't generally want to do this. Uh, but it's nice to see it in the first example anyway. So since it's a cube root prison, that means we need to find triplets that will escape. So notice here there's a triplet of 5's, there's a triplet of X's, and then there's a whole bunch of triplets of Y's, hopefully. There's Y's, there's Y's, there's Y's, and there's Y's. So what ends up escaping from the cube root prison? Right? The answer is going to have a cube root, but what got out? It looks like there's a number 5 that got out, there's one single copy of X, and then there's one, two, three, four, five groups of Y. So that's Y to the fifth. What didn't escape from prison? Well, there's a couple of X's left there, so we're going to be left with X squareds, and there's a couple of Y's right there, so we're left with Y squareds. No number part, but there's your answer. Five X Y to the fifth, cube root of X squared Y squared. So let's try the same way, of, or let's try something similar on this next one, but now I'm going to use the fact that I actually kind of do know my powers really well, so I can reduce this a little bit more nicely and see some simplification. So for example, I happen to know that 96 happens to be equal to 32 times 3, and 32 is 2 to the 5th. I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the 5th times 2, and that's just because I know my powers, so you can practice your powers to be able to do that s to the tenth can be viewed as s to the fifth times s to the fifth and t to the eleventh can be viewed as t to the fifth t to the fifth and then one extra copy of t so I'm reducing things by breaking them down into alternate powers powers of five in particular because it is a fifth radical prison so the nice thing about doing it this way is that you have a fifth radical prison cancelling out fifth powers so you'll have a two that gets rid of this you will have two S's, and you'll have two T's, and with the fifth radical prison, what you're left with is going to be a two, no S's, but a single T. So the final answer you'd probably submit with simplification would be TS squared, two S squared, T squared, fifth radical of two T. Okay, now assuming that you kind of got an idea, you have a couple options here, use one or the other and try to do this particular problem, the cube root of 54 s to the 14th t to the 6th. So assuming you paused and tried this out on your own, I'm actually going to jump and show you how I would just do the answer. I know that 27 times 2 is 54, so I'm going to put the 3 out in front for the cube root of 27 and then the 2 in here for the 54. On the s to the 14th, I know that we have an s to the 12th, which is a multiple of 3, so I'm going to put an s to the 4th out here and leave the extra, let's see, s squared in there. That's going to give me all 14 copies of s. And then t to the 6th is all going to come out of the cube root, and that's just going to leave me with a t squared. So again, I shortcut it quite a bit there, but you can look back at the other processes, and if you followed one of those processes, hopefully your answer comes out to be this also.